Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My sin name is Mihaki Gitao. Thank you so much for clicking on to this video. I know I've not posted content on Wednesday and Sunday last week. Yes, I was busy. My brother had a graduation and I'm so happy that now he's a quantity surveyor and also he was he did um software engineering from Moringa School. Yes, it's about coding and stuff, yeah. So I'm happy that he was able to graduate and his um, occasion was a success. Also, something bad happened during the week and I'm here for story time. So grab your popcorns, grab anything that you would like to eat and let's go ahead with the story. Yes. So guys, on 26th of September, that, that is on Tuesday, nilikuwa natoka job and I was in town. I was refilling perfume. Yes, I'm still in that era of refilling perfumes, but God willing. <laughs> I know one day I'll be buying those designer perfumes. Why sell? Watch out. Dior, watch out. Anyway, so I was busy refilling perfumes in town and... I received a call from my nanny and she told me Kwetu Kumeibiwa, our house has been broken into and a thief stole some items. I, I was in a shock. I, I couldn't even hear which items that guy stole. And so I even told the lady when, when the refilling of the perfume, I told the lady, put the pesa pin, put, no, put the amount. <laughs> give me just give me the phone to put the mpesa pin because i knew i was confused and i could have placed the wrong number na pesa ingeenda to the wrong person so i told the lady anyeke everything i just put the pin and i left i took a bus to to my house the journey to my house was long it was long and there was a lot of traffic there were a lot of emotions going through my mind because i was thinking are they say were they safe where were they how did they how did the thief break into the house yani there was a roller coaster of emotions going through my mind and a lot of things going through my mind so i got home and when i got home i asked my nanny what happened so apparently my nanny was asleep and my hubby was showering he was preparing to go to work on this day he was working on night shift so he was preparing to go to no to go pick my child from school and then head to work so as uh, as he was busy showering and as my nanny was busy sleeping they had only locked the door the sitting room door lock so they didn't close the ile chini and so the thief basically he had an easy time akafungwa pole pole he opened the door slowly and got to the house so when he got to the house he went to all places i think he went to the kitchen and the sitting room and the bedroom because a small cafon that small cafon was in the bedroom and he stole that and he went to the kitchen took milk took water the audacity and even took beans can you imagine he left meat he left everything but took beans from our fridge and so he even took gas yes the small 6 kg gas and nikama ali ali iskia uh, nani from our neighbor akitoka na mtoishi ile so i think he couldn't find a way out ya kubeba gas so he only took the two phones my husband's phone was in the sitting room so he took the phone from the sitting room and the katululu that was in the bedroom and the beans the milk and the water and left so um now fast forward we asked for the footage from our caretaker and he was kind enough to show us so we even have a clip i'll attach it on the i'll put it somewhere towards the end of this video so this guy is seen on the cctv camera on the stairs taking our milk the 500 ml 
milk alikuwa anakunywa tu kwa sias i think he was a hungry thief <laughs> he was a hungry thief yes yeah, so he was busy taking milk kwa stairs and some water i think the water at some point you'll see when him leaving the water mahali kwa stairs i think he was and even the beans he left it on the floor kwa stairs mahali you'll see the video yes yeah, so he, and he left he, that is how he stole my husband's phone to samsung a30 s so he left with the phone and left with the water no he left the water kwa stairs and the beans yes i think he was uh, one confused thief so and he left I, I, I was even wondering how he was not able to carry a lap, laptop that was in our bedroom and just to like to do in the bedroom i just don't understand his way of thinking anyway <laughs> so we reported the case at police station and as at now the case we have an ob number and we are hoping that the thief will be catched <laughs> but with our kenyan way of doing things we don't know how fast that will happen yeah but we are hoping for the best yes so that's how my week was that was on tuesday so that tuesday i had a lot of emotions i was not able to record any content and that's why i was not able to get a video on wednesday on other news on sunday my brother was also graduating yes he's now a, an engineer he graduated with software engineering from Muringa school and he was also graduating with a degree in quantity surveying from UON. Yes, we have an engineer in the house. <laughs> Talk to me nicely now. Anyway, <laughs> I'm so happy and I'm so proud of him. Elvis, in case you're watching this, we know that you're going far. So that is what happened during the week. And one thing is that I was so scared. I was so scared if if he if that thief met my girls that is my nanny and my daughter what could he have done to them you know these days rape cases and the child molestation and every, those kind of cases are very rampant and i was so scared we've we've uh, tried to ensure that our doors are always locked from that day regardless whether we are all in the house or not we have been trying we have put we have installed some security measures to ensure that we are all safe and that everything we are safe in this house we feel safe yeah we feel safe basically we feel safe apart from that incident so we are okay Thank you so much for watching this video hope you've liked the video hope you've liked the story let me know what you think and if you watch till this point just type pole and yeah so thank you so much for watching this video and see you on the next one bye bye